Tiny Giggles TV. Hello, children. I'm Lakis, the unicorn. If you like my videos, please give them a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new adventures. Today, we're going to learn about subtraction. There are many ways to calculate the correct result when subtracting. But today, we're going to use the number line method, which is very simple and easy to understand. All you need is a plain ruler. I'm sure you have one somewhere at home. Let's get started. I have four small cakes, and I want to give away one of them. Let's see how many are left. I started with four cakes. So we place our hand on the number four on our ruler. And since we want to give away only one cake, we make a small jump to the left. Did you figure out how many cakes remain? That is correct. Three. Remember, children, whenever we subtract, our hand always makes little jumps to the left. As you can see, my friend Blinky stopped at the number three. Therefore, four minus one equals three. Here, we've been given eight colorful eggs. And in turn, we will give our mom five of them. How many eggs will we have left? So we have eight minus five. What does that equal? At which number on our ruler should we place our finger? That's right, on the number eight, as you can see. And my friend Blinky has already reached eight. Since we gave our mom five eggs, we need to make five jumps. Do you remember which direction to go? That's right. Because we're giving away the eggs and subtracting, we always go to the left. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We stopped at the number three, which is the number of eggs remaining. Therefore, eight minus five equals three. Blinky is already on the correct number and is sending his greetings. Let's look at our next example. We have seven bottles of milk and we want to give three of them to a friend. How many bottles will remain? That is, we have seven minus three. What is the correct result? Just like before, we place our hand on the number seven, and since we gave away three bottles, we make three jumps to the left. One, two, three. The number at which we stopped is the correct answer. Therefore, seven minus three equals four. Now let's count how many jars of honey we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. We need to give four of these jars to our dad. How many jars will remain? So we have ten minus four. What does that equal? At which number on our ruler should we place our finger? Very good, on the number 10, because all of our honey jars add up to 10. Since we know that we gave our dad four jars, how many jumps to the left should we make? Th that's right, we make four jumps. One, two, three, four. At which number did we stop? We stopped at the number six which is the number of jars remaining. Therefore, 10 minus four equals six. Now let's see how many balls we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six balls and we need to give three of them to some of our friends so they can play too. How many balls will remain? In other words, we have six minus three. What does that equal? Hmm, so we must subtract three from six. At which number on our ruler should we place our finger? Correct, on the number six. Blinky is already at the number six. How many jumps should we make to the left?
three. Very good, children. One, two, three. The number at which we stopped is the correct answer. Thank you, Blinky, for helping us. Therefore, six minus three equals three. After all these exercises, I got hungry, children. Now tell me, how many pizzas do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, wow, many pizzas, right? To satisfy our hunger, we will eat seven pizzas. How many pizzas will remain for us to eat later tonight? We need to subtract seven from nine, which is the total number of our pizzas. As you can see, our good friend Blinky wants to help us and is already on the number nine. We need to tell him how many pizzas we ate and how many are left. So let's place our finger on the number where Blinky is. On the number nine, we ate seven pizzas. How many jumps should we make? And in which direction? Very good, seven jumps. And because we are subtracting, we always go to the left. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We stopped at the number two, which is the correct answer. Hey Blinky, come to number two. So children, nine minus seven equals two. Since we ate so many pizzas, I think it's time for something sweet. What do you say about an ice cream? Let's count how many ice creams we have in our refrigerator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great! We have eight delicious ice creams. We will share six ice creams among our whole family. How many ice creams will remain for us to eat tomorrow? So, we have eight minus six. At which number on our ruler should we place our finger? Correct, on the number eight. And how many jumps should we make? Very good, we should make six jumps, always to the left, don't forget that. When we subtract, children, we always go to the left. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We stopped with our friend Blinky at the number two, which is the correct result. Therefore, eight minus six equals two. In my room, I have four beautiful little boats. One, two, three, four. I want to give two of these to my brother so we can play together. From which number should I start? Very good, children. I should place my finger on the number four on my ruler. And since I gave my brother two boats, I will make two jumps to the left. One, two. The number at which we stopped is two, so I will have two boats left to play with. Thus, four minus two equals two. Today, we learned subtraction. Using the number line method, we place our finger on the larger number and jump to the left to subtract the number we want. The number where our finger stops is the correct result. It's a very simple and fun way to understand how subtraction works. Take care and we'll talk again very soon. Goodbye.